What about the rest of the world? Well, the, the rest, good part of the rest of the world are seeing recessions of their own and deficits everywhere. And so they are consuming more of their own savings. If they consume more of their own savings, that means there are less savings in the world that, that can flow into the United States and fund our deficit. That's it. I can't make these numbers work from the usual sources. And that leaves the central bank, the Fed, to be the lender of last resort. The popular description of this is that the Fed prints money. When you reach the point where there is no one left to buy the Treasury's debt other than the central bank, when you reach that point, you become a banana republic because that is what they do. This usually ends badly with both hyperinflation and unemployment, as we have seen in Russia in the late 1990s, as we have seen more than one time in Brazil and Argentina, and now as we have most recently seen in Zimbabwe. I hope before we go too far down this path and it gets too late, we come to our senses and avoid this disastrous outcome. The public needs to become interested and involved and demand from our legislators and policymakers that they avoid the poor policies uh, that can bring all this about. But the public should also undertake some actions that could help insulate them from it if it should occur. There you have it. I hope I have fulfilled the City Club's mission of informing you, educating you a bit, and inspiring you to actions, perhaps most importantly, inspiring you to actions. Thank you very much. Well, today at the City Club of Cleveland, we're listening to Dr. Ken Malin, President of Clearview Economics, LLC. We'll return to Dr. Malin in just a minute for our traditional City Club question and answer period. We encourage you now to formulate questions for our speaker and remind you to keep them brief and to the point. We welcome all of you here and those listening to WCPN 90.3 FM, WCLV, WTAM, or one of the many radio stations across the country. Radio broadcasts of the City Club are made possible through the generous support of Case Western Reserve University. Our television broadcast partners are WVIZ, PBS Ideastream, and Time Warner Cable. Television broadcasts are supported by National City, now a part of PNC, and Cleveland State University. Closed captioning is supported by Nordson Corporation. Our live webcasts are supported by the University of Akron. Dr. Malin appears today as part of the City Club's annual George Gunn Memorial Forum on the American Economy, made possible by a generous gift from the George Gunn Foundation. We have joining us today at the head table, Bob Jacquet of, of the Gunn Foundation. Mr. Jacquet, will you please stand and be recognized for your support of this forum and the Gunn <laughs> Foundation's dedication to the City Club. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. Also today, we're pleased to welcome guests at tables hosted by Mayor Bruce Akers and guests. Guests of Dr. Ken Malin, Thompson Hine, Summer on the Cuyahoga, and West Reserve Partners. Now we'd like to return to Dr. Malin for our traditional City Club question and answer period. We welcome questions from everyone, including guests. Holding the microphones today are City Club Communications and Outreach Coordinator Deborah Gosti and PR and Programs Manager Carrie Miller. There's Carrie. Could you come back up, Ken? And you're welcome to ask questions about the economic outlook if you want to go uh, in that direction, so. You spoke about the uh, various sources for funding the federal deficit, and you mentioned one, which is foreign governments. Uh, is it, are we correct in noting that China is probably one of the largest uh, creditors of our, of our nation, uh, holding over a trillion dollars in government debts? And uh, if so, uh, what would happen if China decided to call some of those debts and not to renew them 
And do you have any suggestions to what we can do other than to have access, as you point out, to avoid that kind of a possible calamity? Thank you. Uh, in fact, China has made something of a deal with the devil. Not that we're the devil, but uh, they've made a deal uh, yeah, that uh, in order to run persistent uh, trade surpluses with us, uh, persistent trade deficits with the United States, with China, that means uh, when we run our deficit, we are literally putting dollars into their hand. And then they have to do something that, with that. If they sold those dollars in uh, the capital markets and the uh, foreign exchange markets, the effect of that uh, would put uh, 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 upward pressure on their currency, downward pressure on their dollar. Uh, that's a policy that they have cho chosen not to uh, uh, pursue. In fact, uh, I think uh, the Chinese over the years have wanted to consistently run an undervalued currency. That's, this is their model for economic development. So uh, a, a cheap yuan uh, tends to keep their exports, their manufacturers cheap in the world markets uh, in order to develop their uh, economy. Uh, they bring more and more people from the, the rural areas of China to the more coastal areas, manufacturing areas. Uh, and so uh, uh, the, the fact that they uh, continue to, uh, they, they both have and continue to run up uh, this large surplus of US uh, treasuries is, uh, falls out from the policy decisions that, that they made. Uh, it, it would uh, not serve their interests uh, if they decided to try to sell some of those uh, uh, securities. Because what would that do? They have this more than, this. actually it's closer to $2 trillion of securities, and so if they tried to sell some, that would depress the price, and that would lower the value of all the securities that they have uh, in their portfolio. And then also, the, the selling of uh, dollars uh, uh, would, in fact, put upper pressure on their currency, again, something else that they want uh, to avoid. So this is the deal that they've made. This is the economic development model, which uh, they've uh, continued to uh, pursue. Now, in terms of the funding of our uh, uh, deficit, uh, there's just one additional point. Uh, we can only count on the Chinese to provide funding only for in the amount of the deficit that we run with them. In other words, the dollar that we put in their hands. They don't want to take any extra treasuries in addition uh, to that, so we can't count on them for incremental funding to get those numbers up to that $1.8 trillion. Uh, Dr. Malin, uh, you mentioned that uh, the deficit under uh, George W. Bush, who frankly I like very much personally, but uh, I must say that uh, from the uh, beginning of his, of his administration, when he took our surplus, and gave it to 1% of the people, which resulted in many, many people getting millions of dollars, probably wrongly. Don't you think that the Obama plans, which might result in a, in a deficit, which he's trying to cover, uh, might really have the moral equivalent, certainly not approaching, but of some of the things nearing World War II? 